What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and I wanted to do the six week update on the Cordyceps breeding project. So we've got our top five selections, and I made two different types of broth. So we're gonna be doing comparisons in honey water, which is what I usually use for all my um, sap probes. And then we're gonna try a TSB or tip tryptocase soy broth for the entomopathogenic fungi. Um, so we're just gonna compare, and then I'm also gonna be inoculating some um, the multi-spore liquid culture and the isolate liquid culture um, on some different kinds of grain to see you know the performance of that. So I'll head down to the lab and go through. Um, the different liquid cultures and the different types of grains. So I've got my different top five selections all laid out and then I created this um, liquid broth. So I've got the honey water on the left and the TSB on the right. You can see you know the difference in color and they're both pretty consistent as far as um, the viscosity of the liquid so I'm not too concerned about that but um, hopefully we get some better fruits with the tryptocase soy because it will have protein added and then we won't have to supplement our grains as much um, on the back end if we can create an ideal broth for the cordyceps so um, I've got all these laid out here and then I've got two different types of grain right now so I'm gonna be using uh, a whole white rice um, actually it's a short it's a short rice and then also some oats and then I'm gonna be inoculating those into these um, six inch shoebox totes that I got at Walmart um, so I'm gonna do my test trials on those and then inoculate these cultures into the various um, different types of broth. So I've got my honey culture or the honey solution on the left and the TSB on the right. Um, we've got C3, C10 from 18 days ago. start off by cleaning out these totes. So I like to use a hydrogen peroxide initially. Um, so that's going to really lift up any dirt or particles that might be inside these totes. And um, that's a 3% hydrogen peroxide so I'm just going to let that soak in for a minute. Well, that's soaking in, I can kind of go over. So I've got my rice and my oats, and these are at 40% moisture content. Um, so I just prepare them like I normally do. And then I've got um, our isolated native pear. So this is from the first street plate. And then we've got our multi-score 
um, multi-spore culture going there. So I'm going to do multi-spore with rice, multi-spore with oats, isolated with rice, isolated with oats, and I'm going to be using these uh, liquid um, culture sterile syringes and then inoculating after I lay out all the different uh, medias. So now that the hydrogen peroxide has been sitting in there for a while, I'm just going to wipe it dry with some isopropyl alcohol. So I'm just making sure that I'm getting, you know, in any of these crevices or some kind of a debris to build up.
so we just got our first four inoculations. Um, a little bit of feedback that I'm going to be changing is I feel like um, the rice wasn't cooked evenly, so I might try to do less per bag so it's more homogenous. Um, and then the oats, I feel like they're, you know, a pretty good moisture content, but maybe going a little thicker on the oats. I use three cups, so I'll probably up it up to four or five cups. And I'll uh, keep you guys updated on this. So give us a thumbs up if you enjoy these videos. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more videos like these. Share our content if you think anyone else will find it useful. I really enjoy you know, making these videos. And if you haven't had a chance to check out our Etsy, um, we just updated with some fresh cultures. And as soon as these all get dialed in, I'll be releasing those 40 steps cultures too. We also now do um, our own MEA plates. So they're gonna be two for five. And it's free shipping over $35 on all of our products. So check out our Etsy and um, keep following along. I'm going to do some more updates and we also have a TikTok. So if you're interested in uh, more live, like as these videos are getting filmed, I usually post um, clips on TikTok and Instagram. So check out our social media guys. And until next time, much love.